While just a few days back, we were all wishing each other goodness and happiness for 2021. Look at where we are. Christmas is already here. And without getting too preachy about everything, let's straight dive into the recipe. We all know celebrations in these times could get a little challenging, completely understood. But deep within, we all know what needs to be done. Anyway, let's begin the recipe of coffee pie. This recipe of coffee pie is possibly one of the simplest recipes of a pie. Well, I'm going to divide this recipe into two components. The first one is, of course, making the pie, which is making the short crust or the sweet paste. And the second one is making the filling, which is the chocolate and coffee filling. And for this, I'm using dark and milk chocolate both. You are free to use either milk chocolate or dark chocolate. But I personally feel a combination of dark and milk just works perfectly like magic for a recipe like this. Now, uh, if you know how a typical sweet paste is made, uh, it's very simple. It's 3 is to 2 is to 1 of refined flour to butter to sugar. There are several methods in which you can make this. I'm showing you possibly one of the most unique methods and that is the creaming method for sweet paste, yes. First things first, let's take butter in this case and this is salted butter. To this, I'm going to add in sugar. Now, this is not uh, caster sugar. This is in fact grain sugar, which has been ground to make it look like a caster sugar. The next step is creaming these two ingredients together. Now, you will only use this method if you're using the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1 because that way, this recipe will turn out perfect. Well, classically, if you read a lot of cookbooks and things like that, you would have read about chilling all the ingredients or cutting the butter or chopping the butter and then using iced water for something like this. But remember what I said? A very different and a unique recipe. The method applied, creaming. Once this is creamed and ready, the whole idea here is to not kind of change the color and make it pale yellow or white in color. The whole idea here is to mix the ingredients and just ensure that the sugar just kind of begins to dissolve. Once that is done, we'll add in all-purpose flour or refined flour. Not in batches, not in parts, all at once. Well, this in a lot of ways is a fool's proof recipe of making a pie pastry or a tart pastry or sweet paste. Let's mix all of this together. Once all these ingredients come together, our sweet pastry is done and ready. The next thing is to transfer this entire ball of dough straight into the pie dish. The next step is to take a spoon and with the back of the spoon, we're going to literally create the walls of the pie dish. We're going to press the dough and that's all that you need to do. Once this dough literally starts forming the base of the pie, the next step is equally important and that is the thickness literally has to remain even all through the dough. The base has become nice, flat and even, but deliberately the sides have been raised above the level of the pie, which is also equally important because the next step is creating flutes of the pie. For that, I'm going to dip my fingers in refined flour and literally pinch the dough like so. Well, this technically is called creating flutes on the pie. Well, docking as a step is extremely critical and important because this way the base will not rise or puff up. Our flutes are done and ready. The next step is to push this in the freezer and keep this at least for 15 to 20 minutes. Our pie dish is well frozen. And if you see, it's actually set perfectly well. This is the time when we're going to take a fork and actually dock this. The next step is to bake this 200 degrees Celsius, 15 minutes. Let's do that. While the pie is getting baked, let's move on to the next step and that is making the filling. Like I said earlier, this is a combination of chocolate and coffee. Chocolate in this case is dark and milk. Choice is completely yours. You can make this with white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, or even ruby for that matter. First things first, let's add in some thick or heavy cream. While the cream has just kind of begun to bubble, let's add in some milk. This is full fat milk. Well, what I'm making here is a recipe of a ganache which is very simple. It's a combination of cream and chocolate. 
So this in a way is going to be coffee flavored chocolate ganache. Literally so. Once this mixture comes to roll boil, the next few ingredients are the flavors. Chocolate and coffee. Simple. Once the cream and milk mixture comes to a roll boil, I'm going to lower the flame and add in chocolate, coffee and sugar. Coffee. This is instant coffee. And last but not the least, sugar. Well, sugar in this recipe is completely optional. You can actually rely on the sweetness of the dark and the milk chocolate. But in this case, I personally feel a little sugar will just kind of bring it that balance in this recipe. Let's mix all of this well. Ensure that it emulsifies beautifully well. The oven is also kind of screaming for tension. But before that, let's turn this off. Our pie is ready, of course. Let's add this emulsified, shiny, tasty, sumptuous ganache straight into the pie. I'm leaving a slight rim and that is just to ensure that it looks nice and sweet pastry-like on the outside. With this, our pie is literally done and ready. Now, keep this aside for 15 minutes, keep this aside for six hours. That's absolutely fine on a personal call. What will keep happening, let me tell you, now the ganache is runny and liquid. As it keeps setting or as it keeps cooling down, this will keep setting to a nice, beautiful, silken, smooth ganache. So whichever the stage is, the choice is completely yours to dig into it. Finally, let's top this up with some more instant coffee. With this, your baked coffee pie is done and ready. I wish this year Santa Claus brings you a lot of happiness and a lot of sweetness and you in turn pass it on to your family and friends. With this, enjoy the coffee pie and see you straight next year.